So, next thing is the IO pins of the actual PIC. The IO pins are effectively what allow PIC to interact with the outside world without properly setting them. Then a, a PIC is not, it, does, it doesn't even serve as a paperweight. It, it's just useless at that stage. So, we just, so the IO pin process is a very simple, straightforward process. So, the first thing you do, you clear, you clear F. Clear F is just clear clear um, file register. You clear F whatever values were on those pins by any chance. So the the pins, the thing that actually keeps the value that should be on the pins on the pins is the latch. So it's a latch for port A. So you're clearing the latch for port A, or it can be port C, for example, lat C or whatever. But for argument's sake, we're just using port A at this stage. So we're clearing whatever past value was that. And then we're going to set the specific little pins that we want uh, to be either inputs or outputs. If you're familiar with Arduino, this is the, basically the analogous process for that. So what you're going to do, if you want uh, to set a pin as an input, you set, so bit set F, the file, the um, pin of tris A, let's say we want port A0 to be. So it's the zeroth pin, so it's RA0, the zeroth pin of port A is needs to be set to an out, needs to be set to an input. Now, if you want to remember, the one is for an input and a zero is for an output. By default, all the pins are set as inputs when you boot up the pick, unless it, um, unless you specify otherwise. So we just set the first pin of port A as an input. So if you want to set a um, pin of port A as an output, you just say tris A2. So tris, the tris, um, register of each port effectively just controls whether each specific pin is an input or an output. So, and then afterwards, you just go, and if you're happy with how you set everything, then you just do the process for, um, you clear F, the ANSEL A, for example. ANSEL just basically stands for analog select. So if, you, if you're working with the digital inputs and outputs, you're not really interested in reading analog values and you you need to tell the pick this else it's just going to not respond as you want it to when reading specific pins or writing to specific pins and everything so clearing the ansel a register for the specific pins now the ansel a register is actually pretty simple it's just uh it's the same as the tris a register so if you want to set uh ansel a zero for example then it's going to set the first pin of port A as an analog input or output, whatever, depending on whatever you specified here. So port A0 is specified as an input, so we need we can set this as an analog input as well. So if you want to, for example, do an ADC reading or a DAC um, output or whatever, you're going to, to turn on the ANSEL A um, register uh, to that specific little um, pin but in this case it's not yet necessary and uh, that is whatever you need to do to actually set up the thing and and also remember the pick effectively it stores all the um, contents of all its uh, memory re registers at a specific uh, we call it a memory bank it's a very specific place in the pick that's um, made to house all the um, the values loaded into these special function registers. So for safety sake, I found it sometimes works without doing this, but for absolute safety sake, just say move literal to bank 0xf and then just move back, move little to, just so the um, pick just knows you're definitely working in this area, else it might just write to a very wrong location. So just for safety sake, just move a literal to B, 0xf and just move back so it doesn't unknowingly write to bad locations in memory and and now from then on you can just do whatever you want you can just uh let's say we want to uh, move literal to working and just say let's call it uh six 
And then we just move the working to a specific file. The file of interest in this case is port A. And then we can just compile this and hopefully it will compile on the first try. And it did, it did compile on the first try. So we step to the program. And okay, so it jumps to init, it moves memory P, clear F3SI, clear F3SI. And then you can see, let's say you want to see what is in A at that stage. You can just go to the variables page and it shows you what is in there. So we only cleared the third one, which corresponds to so 0, 1, 2. So only that one is supposed to actually have a meaningful output. So let's say we want to see whatever is going on in port A. So effectively only one of them is supposed to respond at this stage. And since 6 is effectively 6 is effectively binary 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 0. So it makes sense that only the third digit is changed because only the third digit is configured as an output. So yeah, that is how you configure the specific eye opens on the pick.